We're going to show you how to take these two laptops apart. We'll be right back. Without further ado, guys, let's get into tearing down these two laptops. This is the Dell Inspiron 15 AMD and Intel. This is the um, 7th generation Intel Core i5 and the A12 AMD. Let's get to it. We take out a total of 10 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pop off the cover. Upgrading the hard drive. Solid state drive. Putting the screws back in. The hard drive itself put the hard drive connector back on line up the holes we're using an a data for the replacement drive if you wanted to check to make sure the heat sink is clear just take off the fan and inspect the heat pipe it is always good to take a look that you have the machine completely apart. I'll also take a look at it because with this clog, you'll have major overheating problems. That's pretty much it. Put the cover back on. Let's press it down. put the screws back in let's power on the machine and see how she looks sweet that was fast that's how you check the CPU fan and replace the hard drive in an Inspiron 15 Core i5 and now we're going to do the AMD A12 Inspiron 15 okay now we're going to re remove 15 screws on the back of this. There are additional three screws that are here from the CD-ROM drive after you remove it. One of the screws that hold on the CD-ROM is here. So you need to take that out so you can continue removing this out. We got it off. Yay, finally. All right, so as you can see, the hard drive is underneath this so we have to disconnect this ribbon cable that's here unless you can finagle that out so it's it's completely different setup than the intel and this you can upgrade the memory on this it's right here battery is here uh, the cmos battery is here right there plugs right in all the parts that you see here will have a link in the description below the purchase if you're looking for replacement parts for this. We're holding this in, so this looks like three. And then the last one, I don't want to block the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Wow, there we go. That was a little tight. Everything's good. So now we just simply take the hard drive out of here. Uh, this hard drive has been pre-imaged prior to this. I did use a Cronus 2020. Okay, hard drive is done. Slide the connector back on. There we go. Three. We're good. Bring this ribbon cable back over. Remember, the camera is right in front of my face. So I can't see. There we go. As I said before, we could check to see if this is clogged, the fan. For, um, for dust but as we can see is that this whole thing is all together the whole heatsink fan off so we have one screw here and we have the CPU here and these uh, usually run a little warm so we're just going to check that out and see how we're doing with that let's pull this off screws holding this together all right so we want to see inside of this we want to make sure that this, this 
heat sink, this fan is not clogged. You can't tell. So there are tiny little screws here holding this fan on. So I'm going to take these out. Okay. And it's very important because since you have this thing apart already, you might, might as well take it completely apart to verify that nothing is blocking it. And there we go. So the fan is off. Okay. And the heat sink is clear. But it's always good just to make sure. So the Tim on that CPU right here, I'm going to clean off. And we're going to apply new. Since we have it already apart and we took it off, we disturbed it. So we're going to take that off there and we're going to clean off this here. And I want the dust, of, the bad Tim dust to fall into the computer. All right, I'm going to be using a Cooler Master Thermal Paste, nothing fancy. Uh, this seems to be pretty well. I use this on a bunch of other heat sinks as well, the CPUs rather. The little blob there. And put this baby back on. Make sure we plug the fan back in. We don't want any failures. Now when I put these screws back in, we're gonna go in an angle. One here, one here. Go over to this one. And then back over to this. And now everything is back to normal. Again, we're back in business. So we got the hard drive. Everything's back in, everything's rocking and rolling. Let's just take a quick peek to see if this thing powers up with no problem. Let's see. We'll do a vertical shoot down here just to see. Make sure everything is functioning. I know the screen's dirty. We'll clean all that up before it goes back to the clients. All right. All right, so putting this back together again is relatively straightforward. Literally just place it on and snap it down. Make sure everything snaps into place here. All the way around every edge here. And remember we have uh, the tiny little screws that we took out here. I mean, they're really, really small. You'll need a very fine Phillips screwdriver to screw these babies back in again. I kind of briefly touched on that. The tiny screw is for the CD-ROM drive that we removed. So that goes back in here like so. So one of those small screws that we said, okay, don't forget <laughs> what that's for. That's for the CD-ROM drive. So that's done. Let's just make sure we're all snapped into place here. We'll go around the rest of the computer. Make sure we're good. Good here, we're good here. All right. So this is the AMD A12 Inspiron 15 5000 series, as well as the Core i5 Inspiron 15 5000 series. So you know how to do both computers. It's a beautiful thing. AMD is much thicker than the Dell, than the other Inspiron Core i5. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.